we teach people how do you ask for a little and get a lot. In the sense of like the Chinese proverb, you know, you drop a pebble down a well, mountain. Well, no, and if it you explodes. say to a doctor, if you had to guess, we always teach people to say things if you had to guess. Okay. What methodology did you use to come with that hypothesis? Was that all the years of you doing it? Well, I read Cialdini's book, which oh, is the, exactly. you know, yeah. classic. Uh, you know, where he says, you know, if you ask for a little, you get a lot. If you ask for a lot, you get a little. But the other thing I did was <laughs> I went back to my days in high school where I would not ask a girl out unless I knew she was going to say yes. So what I did was I created a closing sequence where the customer never says no. They either say yes or they say yes, but. Now, yes, but is no, but they're about to tell me the reason why they're not buying, which puts me into the objection handling process, recircle but at least I understand why they ain't buying. The average salesperson leaves and never really understands why they're not buying. We teach people how to find out why they ain't buying. What's the most important reason to find out why they're not buying right now? Because if I don't know why you're not buying it, then I don't know how to address it. If, if So I'll give you a simple example. I'll say to one of the biggest objections that, that people get, and, and it doesn't matter what you're selling, is that we're in the habit of doing this. I'm in the habit of choosing this vendor to clean our, our, our office every Friday night. Yeah. You know, we're in the habit, and we've had success with them, et cetera. So if the habit objection never comes, and they keep giving you the runaround, then, then you say, look, I'm not, you know, I'm not the smartest guy in the world, but I know this. A lot of people do things simply because of habit. Is it fair to say that one of the reasons that keeps you from having, that, 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 that causes you to have some reservations or hesitations about thinking not using, thinking about our product or service is that you're simply in the habit of doing something else. And then more like and they'll yes go, or yeah, answer. truthfully, that's the answer. And then I'll say, well, I don't blame you. Heck, habits are really important. You know why? Habits, habits save us time. Habits reduce the amount of thinking that we have to do. So they're incredibly important. I said, now, what you're telling me, and this is what bothers me, mm. what you're telling me, is that I haven't given you enough reasons to want to break that habit. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you three reasons right now why you're going to want to break that habit at least for three weeks. That's all I'm going to do. Can I do that? Yes. And then I'm going to go tell you the same damn thing I told you last week. <laughs> but I've already gotten your commitment that you'll actually give it a fair trial in three or four patients because I'm going to force you to tell me that habit's the issue, in which case you'll, you'll come to your own conclusion that that ain't a great reason for me to not reconsider. Yeah, you didn't tell them, they said it. They said it themselves.